how to know the difference between an opportunity and a distraction. First things first, if you're watching on the YouTubes, do make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified when new videos come on. Here's the reason why. Because I actually teach you stuff that works and that helps you. And my focus is on you being able to, well, let's just call it, let's break it on down. I teach the good people of the world to make more money so they can go do good things with it. Let's break it on down to its common denominator. I teach the good people of the world to make more money so they can go do good things with it. All right? So if you're not a good person and you're watching me, I'm going to uber annoy you. Okay? Because I'm going to talk about heart. I'm going to talk about soul. I'm going to talk about mission. I'm going to talk about purpose. And I'm going to talk about creating a better world. Okay, so if you're not a good person, then none of those things are interesting to you. And I do suggest watching somebody else because I am going to raise that blood pressure for you. Okay, so let's not watch me if you're not a good person. <laughs> Here's how you can win something too every single week. All you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment on YouTube videos, and share my YouTube videos and tag me in it. One person every single week that does all of that stuff. And I appreciate you guys doing that stuff, by the way. Like this is just hey win something like seriously you have all of my gratitude for helping to get this out into the world because this is how we change and ship things and we're doing it together so I appreciate you so much okay but one person every week is gonna win something too so there's that what we need to be focused on you guys is we need to be focused on what we're doing in the moment okay because that's going to be your deciding factor. There's going to be a filter, and I'll talk about that filter here in just a minute. But we need to know who we're serving. So if you don't know your bat signal, who you're serving, your position in the market, that sort of thing, make sure that you're in my group. It's in the, the link is in the description of this video. Make sure that you're in my group and that you're not just watching the videos because the group is where the gold is. Okay, that's where like the trainings are, that's where the challenges are, that's where, that's where you grow as a person. And then also, obviously, you're gonna grow your income and your impact because both of those things are like this to me, all right? So make sure that you're in there. But you need to know who you're serving, how you're serving them, okay? So now you always are gonna run everything through the filter of, does this make sense right now for them, okay? It's never ever run through the filter of, does this make sense right now for me, okay? We're never ever leading with, but what do I want? But what, what am I doing, right? Like, but what do I wanna do? Now, obviously there's a natural, like little bit of that that's gonna be in the very beginning. What do I wanna do and how can I serve them and how can we do this, right? But once you get the this part together, now everything is always about your people. Always, 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 always about your people. Our conversations that my team and I have are always about how do we make our people better? How do we get them further along? How do we get them more income? How do we get them more exposure, more impact? How do we do that for them? So that is our everything runs through that. Okay, so now let's go to the question at hand. How to know the difference between opportunity and distraction. Opportunity is going to be in alignment with how you want to serve your people or how you, how, yeah, how you want to serve your people. So not what you want in your life. That's, are you guys understand, understanding and distinguishing the difference there between I want to create this thing, I'm going to create this thing and they're, they're going to just have it, right? Like that's like you make this dinner, set it in front of somebody, and you never ask them what they like to eat. You never ask them what they need. You never ask them if they have any nutritional deficiencies. You didn't ask them if they have any sort of like uh, allergic like intolerances, anything like that. You don't know a thing about the person that you're setting the meal in front of, but you make this meal and you're like, this is the meal I want to make, so here it is. That's not how we do things. We make sure that we understand our people, right? This is like the, the understanding, the hearing and feeling the pulse of our people. What do you need? What can I help you with? All right, okay, let's get those questions answered and then let me go ahead and create this dish for you, for you. 
right? And so the opportunity is going to be that it's, I'm getting very <laughs> uh, illustrating in this video here, but the opportunity is going to be an ingredient, an ingredient to that dish. So when you look at HBR, it's my super friends that I bring in, right? So the home-based tax strategist, right? Mindset folks, how to write a book, right? Like all of these people, how to storytelling and video, all of these people that I bring in, they're ingredients to the dish, right? Are you guys, you're tracking with me, aren't you? <laughs> So they're ingredients, it makes sense in how I'm serving because my people need this stuff. So an opportunity is going to be an ingredient to the dish. It doesn't mean that it's a person, it doesn't have to be a person. But if it's an opportunity, if it's a good opportunity to take, then it's something that's going to help your people and make sense with either helping your people or getting your people's attention, okay? And then bringing them back and then you can serve them more. That's there's a whole system around that in HBR, okay? So that's an opportunity. Now what's a distraction? A distraction is, oh, I could make some money over here. Oh, okay, well, let me focus on this. <sighs> okay. It's distracting you from your main thing. And any sort of split in your mind of two different things makes all of a sudden neither one of the things good. You've heard jack of all trades, master of none. It's like that, right? You never fully focus on either one of them and now you're losing. You're losing trust in your people that you're here for because now you're kind of over here, right? And they're like, how does that make sense? Now, if that thing where it's like, oh, you can make a little extra money, also aligns with how you serve your people, that's an opportunity, not a distraction. But if it's not in alignment at all with how you serve your people, it's a distraction, okay? So that's the simple formula there, there excuse me. There's, there's you, how you serve your people, how you're, you know, you're building this personal brand and that sort of thing. That's how you're, how you're showing up for your people, okay? Now, if there's a, a distraction would look like, oh, you got this opportunity over here. You can make some money over here or whatever, but they do not and cannot be woven into what you do to serve your people. That is a distraction and is going to really paralyze your main focus, okay? So I have a lot of different types of people follow me. I have people follow me where their main focus is their moms and they are helping people understand gluten intolerances, right? And so helping families really be able to navigate that world in a very easy and simple way. I have other people that have been in business for years and they're determining how to be able to add extra income streams to their business in service to their people instead of money grabs. I have other people that are in the ministry that follow me, that are looking at different ways to be able to create more avenues in their ministry. There's all sorts of different people out there and we're all here doing the same thing. We're focusing on our people, we're showing up for our people and we're making our people better every day. That's one of our core values in our, in our business is better every day. We get better every day. We make our people better every day. Our people that work with us are better every day. And we ourselves are better every day. Okay? So you guys, an opportunity and a distraction, really the biggest signifier of a distraction is that it takes you away from your main focus. Okay? So just don't get it, don't get it twisted. Now, if you can weave it into your main focus, you're good. You're good. I'm not saying that every other opportunity shouldn't be looked at. I'm not saying that at all. Like I'm a fan of income streams. Okay. Let's not get it twisted, but let's also not entertain everything regardless 
of whether it fits with our people or not, because you are going to destroy yourself and your business and your reputation and all that goes with it. Okay. Oh, actually real quick. I'm going to say this because it's half off today. So here it is. Um, we're getting really, really close to our e-commerce site being live, like really, 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 really close which is where I let you guys sell your stuff on my site, okay? And that's no extra monthly fee or anything like that. It's my give back, right? We're glamorizing the give back here. So, uh, I'm, so I'm doing half off for HBR right now. Get into HBR. If you're hearing the stuff that I'm talking about and you're like, okay, I teach good people to make more money so they can go do good things with it. That's what we're doing here in the world, okay? If we don't have functionally what it takes to be able to go out there and save kids, give families clean drinking water, give kids nutrition, if we don't functionally and financially have what it takes to be able to do that, we can't put a dent in what's going on in the world. Okay? So what I'm teaching you how to do is to be able to create income to go, to go out and do this, guys. This is where everything changes and it starts with us, okay? Get in HBR. If you're feeling the nudge, you need to be in. That nudge is not from me, that nudge is from your creator. Message me at Live in the Dream with Martha. Message me the words case study, that's my Facebook business page. Message me the words case study, rainbows and unicorns, whatever you wanna message me. We'll have a short chat, I'll give you the details of the program. I'm not gonna be salesy and weird with you. I don't do that, I don't teach you to do that. I don't do that to you, okay? This is where you, every heart-centered person that wants to do good in the world needs to be in HBR because I'm teaching you how to do it, okay, guys? Like, we got to do this. I'm going to pop out of here. I love you. Bye-bye.